Yo, what's going on, my people? It's your big homie, Crooks the Great, a.k.a. CTG, and I'm back at you guys with some more banger UFC 5 content. Now, today's video is going to be special because we are going to be taking on a trash talker. Now, no, this is not the first time I've ever gotten a message like you guys see up on the screen right here. I get them fairly regularly, to be honest, especially when people lose. But this one in particular, I wanted to show you guys because this guy actually actually wasn't that bad he was not that bad now a little backstory to this message right here uh, i was streaming on tiktok uh, for those of you guys that don't know i have moved my streams from youtube to tiktok so make sure you guys follow me over there if you guys want to see my gameplay live um i was fighting this guy on tiktok and i was using a lower rated fighter um he was using i believe zongwei lee uh in strawweight and he beat me he beat me and immediately after that he sent me a message saying, sit that ass down, boy. So obviously this guy, it, it's an alt account. It's an alt account. Let me say that, number one. Number two, obviously I've beaten this guy on numerous amounts of occasions enough for him to message me, to trash talk me. But little did he know that later on, actually the next day, we would run into each other in ranked championships when I was not streaming. Now, for those of you guys that haven't been in my streams, I have said this on many, on many occasions. Me playing on stream is way different than me playing when I'm grinding offline. When I'm not on stream and I'm playing, I can focus in, I'm focused. Like I play a completely different style than what I do when I'm streaming because I'm trying to entertain you. I'm trying to have a good environment. I'm trying to talk to people. I'm trying to respond to chats. So obviously I'm not too keyed on, you know, focusing in on my opponent. So this guy had to learn the hard way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the fight that I have for you guys here with this trash talk. All right, my people, and here we are. We are in the fight. And ironically, we both chose Irene Aldana. So you know what? There's no excuses as to, you know, who's using the better fighter and none of that nonsense that people tend to try to use. It's just mano y mano. So you see right here, I'm just trying to get a good feel for what he's trying to do. Looks like he's going for some slip strikes. But I know in my mind, hey, I want to I wanna whoop this dude's ass. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, If there's one thing that makes me really lock in, it's when I'm trash talk. For real. So I've, I've beaten a lot of really good players uh, in previous games all because they decided to trash talk me so this dude has no idea what the can of worms he opened up you know what i'm saying so here we're taking our time popping off that jab closing the distance ripping to the body and we're really just standing right there in front of his face but we're still just taking our time and to his credit, you know, he's not running away from me. He's he's engaging. He's trying to look for counters actively. So I got to give him respect for that. Nice. Right here, we're just taking our time still. We're kind of just going back and forth. We're just creating that rhythm. Right here, just taking our time still. You see, we're landing a lot of strikes, especially on his block. And if he's not careful and we are able to predict that slip that he's going for, we could potentially put him out just with one shot. So we're just taking our time, but he's answering well, man. I like the way he's not, he's not getting too sketched out when we are breaking his block down. So that lets me know, obviously, this guy, this guy's decent. Got some decent skills. Missed on the head kick. Unfortunately, we didn't make him pay, but I've been noticing as of late, man, when I try to counter head kicks with head kicks, sometimes I'll get caught because of the strict timing that it that needs to take place on those head kicks. So I've been like really, really not throwing them as much as I used to. Right here, we're still just playing it cool. Rip it to the body, because that's what he's giving us. Nice jab, knee to the body, into the jab, roundhouse kick. Now we're starting to work that body held down. Ooh. 
So just really taking our time though. Woo! Clean with the slips though. All right, so overall, I feel like we got this first round in the bag. As long as we don't get hit with anything too heavy right there. Solid first round from us. We got good reads on what he's trying to do. We're able to land some good stuff. You guys are gonna hear a little bit of my, uh, a little bit of my, uh, my headphones kind of going off right there. But overall, successful first round. Really, really successful first round. So let's see if he has the wherewithal and the high IQ enough to change up some of the things that he was doing. It's right there, we hit him with a nice clean body kick. Pop him with a ducking straight. And now that I've gotten a good feel for what I think he's trying to accomplish, we can start putting together a solid game plan and start landing some more damaging shots. Right here, we're still just taking our time. He misses on the body teeth kick. Slowly but surely. Closing the distance, making our way into that into that pocket. Which if you guys have been around the channel long enough, you guys know I love pocket fighting, but in UFC 5, it's ridiculously dangerous. I'm not gonna front. Popped him with a nice straight. Double jab, close the distance into a four piece. Now we're starting to break him a little bit because you see him doing a lot of head movement. Popped him with a straight. Mixing it up high low. And really just starting to apply a lot of pressure on him. I wanted to see how he's gonna react. But so far, so good for him. He hasn't gotten knocked down or gotten hurt. But now look, he's trying to reverse the pressure. We switch to Southpaw. Now we're gonna play off the back foot a little bit. Try to potentially catch him with a stationary combination like everybody else tends to try to do. So right here, just taking our time though. Miss on the hook. Nice slip hook counter right there from us, so that's what we were looking for. Hit him with a nice head kick, even though it was inside the pocket, which y'all know I despise. Whatever. And now we're just breaking, breaking the block down. And our head health is about equal too, so it could really go either way inside this pocket. But we counter right there with a clean uppercut into the lead hook and drop him. Going for the stack guard, he denied it. Gonna go for it again. He's gonna up kick us, nice work. Nice work. Now we can't get too cocky as we hit him with a clean lead hook because UFC 5 tends to make you pay if you get over aggressive. Right there, he broke through the block. Ooh. Gotta be careful. He's chucking them things back now. Oh, nice slip hook. Ooh. Damn, I really wanted that pull counter uppercut. But we'll take the second round. We'll take it. Got a clean knockdown. Our nose is a little broken at the moment. It's not looking too good as far as a cut, but hey. We're going into the third round. Really, honestly, we could be ahead two rounds to none. Because we heard him twice and dropped him. And then we outstruck him in that uh, in that first round as well. So we're sitting in a pretty good spot. So here we go. We're in the third round. Pop him with a clean straight. Open up that cut. Going to take it off the block. Drop him right there with a double jab into a straight. Because we caught him. On, uh, on positive frames. Now we've heard him twice already. Heard him again. He's surviving. He's listening to the Bee Gees. He's staying alive. But we're hurting him left and right, man. But the question is, will EA allow us to get a finish? Will they allow us to get this guy out of here? 
I'm not trying to take no chances. That's why you see I'm not bum rushing them, throwing all these long combination strings, but the nice slip lead hook right there gets us to knock down, and there it is. We're able to get it done. Got that trash talker up out of there. Crazy, crazy work, ladies and gentlemen. And there's no better satisfying feeling, no more satisfying feeling than getting a trash talker up out of there. In that last round, we really just, <laughs> we really just put a beating on that boy. I'm not gonna lie. We beat him worse than we did Nas in that first fight of our best of three. <laughs> but we ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go there. I, I'm just playing, Nas. I know you're gonna be mad at me. People gonna clip this and send this to you, but I'm just making a joke, brother. Don't get all upset. But all right, my people, that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button if you're new, as well as slap that like button. And let me know, what... What do y'all enjoy the trash talker UFC 5? Is there any better feeling than beating a trash talker? I want to know in your guys' opinion. So let me know in the comment section. But until next time, my people, take it easy, be safe, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.